you're into RC, whether it's cars, boats, or planes, chances are you have a big stack of LiPo batteries sitting around. And from time to time, I think it's important to be able to evaluate these packs and compare these packs to see what the general health of the battery is. And that way you can decide if it's something that you want to put on your, your RC and go fly with, or if you want to just you know, keep it on the bench and maybe use it as a backup battery. One tool that is very useful and you should consider to put in your toolbox is this LiPo ESR meter. So what, is it, what does this meter do? What does it tell you? Well, basically when you connect this to your pack, it tells you what the internal resistance of the entire pack is, the internal resistance of each cell individually, and it also gives you an estimate of what the true C rating of your pack is, which basically tells you how much amperage you can pull out of the pack without overheating the pack or damaging the pack. So let's take a look at how this works. For this demonstration, I'm gonna compare two different battery packs that I use to fly in my multi-rotor. One is a 1500 milliamp Carbon Bird battery sold by Multi-Wee Copters rated at 45C. The other one is an 1850 milliamp hour LiPo sold by Max Amps and they're claiming it has a 100C rating. Using this ESR meter we'll be able to compare these two batteries and see how they stack up against each other based on what the ESR meter thinks the true C rating of each pack is and what the internal resistance of the packs are and we'll be able to get an idea of, of which pack um, is going to perform better out in the field. This will just be an idea. Alright, first up we're going to do a little test with the, the Carbon Bird battery. So, I want to connect the battery to the meter and then we want to set the milliamp hour rating of the battery into the meter. So. Alright, so we have an internal resistance of 39.3 milliohms for the whole pack. And now we'll take a look at each cell individually with the test lead. And that's going to give us an indication of the actual C rating of the battery. So here we have 11.68 milliohm on the first cell. It's giving us an 18C rating and a max 27.6 amps. Next cell, 11.92 milliohm, 18C, 27.6 amps. Last cell, 11.6 milliohm, internal resistance, 18C, 27.6 amps. So pretty consistent across all the cells in this pack. And right around you know 25 to 27 amps, you should be able to pull out of this pack without damaging it. Let's take a look at this Max Amps 1850 milliamp pack, rated at 100C by the manufacturer. Let's go ahead and set the milliamp hours up on this. Total pack resistance, 29.1 milliohms. We'll take a look at each cell individually here. All right, so we have uh, our first cell here. 7.92 milliohms, rated at 20C, 36.4 amps. Next and last cell here. 8.08 milliohms, 20C, 36.4 amps. All 
All right, let's talk about these two battery packs now that we've taken a look at them on the meter. This Carbon Bird pack here, uh, 1500 milliamp hour pack, 3S, rated at 45C. This pack's gonna cost you right around $25. And on my setup, I'm getting about seven, maybe seven and a half minutes of flight time, but probably closer to seven. This Max Amps pack, which has a crazy, crazy C rating, 100 C is what they're claiming. Um, 1850 milliamp hours on the same setup that I'm flying this pack on. I'm getting about nine minutes, so I'm getting about two more minutes of flight time on this pack. Now this pack costs $55, so a little bit over twice what this pack costs but as you can see from using the ESR meter it has considerably less internal resistance and it has a little bit more capacity and size wise and weight wise it's almost identical to this pack so you're gonna pay a little bit of extra money for this guy right here to get a little bit of extra time and it comes down to diminishing returns on your investment at some point I just wanted to uh, be able to compare them so that's why I bought you know this more expensive pack here just to just to get an idea um, so about two more minutes of flight time than you'll get with this pack you could buy two of these packs for the price of one of these packs just to put it into perspective so that's a that's a call you'll have to make um, warranty wise this pack has a lifetime warranty basically they'll replace the pack if it puffs up within the first year after the first year they'll give you 50% off on a new pack and uh, They'll also rewrap the pack for you for free anytime during the life of the pack. <clears throat> this Carbon Bird pack um, gives you a 120 day warranty on the pack. So more affordable, cheaper performance is, is pretty good on this pack. True C rating on this was, I think it was 19. 19C, 18C, got a 20C rating on this pack, true C rating, even though they're claiming 100. About 26 amps out on this guy is what's safe for it. 35 amps out on this, you get 10 more amps here that you can pull out of this pack and keep it in a safe operating temperature. Um, so, you can see how we can compare some batteries using the ESR meter or you could just buy them fly them and don't worry about it that's a that's another theory 